Hi, this is Jared Bro, your eye reporter evangelist, and I'm standing back in front of my house here on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain. This is where I reported from in August 2012 uh, during Hurricane Isaac, and those were the reports for which CNN nominated me for one of their eye reporter awards. To put things into perspective, I am living on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain. It's a different house than you saw in our last tutorial, and this house, for perspective, is fake at the bottom. There's nothing really down there. It's a fake wall. And during the hurricane, one of the important questions I had to ask was, will I be safe? And in this tutorial, I want to emphasize the importance of safety and whether or not you are going to be safe as an eye reporter for whatever event you decide to cover. Here are the calculations I had. I knew the water wasn't coming any higher than these stairs. I knew the walls down below were going to wash out. They were fake. I knew my living quarters upstairs were going to be just fine. I knew the house is on stilts uh, made out of steel with 12-inch I-beams down below. I knew that the storm was going to pass much to the west of me, and in all likelihood, we wouldn't even have hurricane force winds. What we would have would be high water and something that was very visual. And... Uh, I knew I would be safe if the storm was going to be rough, if it was going to be a Hurricane Katrina-sized storm, or if it was going to be a Superstorm Sandy-type storm, I would have evacuated. I knew that I, that I was safe, and part of my safety plan was six blocks away from here, it was dry. They had electricity, they had creature comforts, I had a boat that I could simply paddle out uh, day or night and get to safety and creature comforts. Dr. Drew did a live interview with me off of my iPhone, uh, sitting there by candlelight with hurricane lanterns, and he politely asked why I didn't evacuate, kind of implying, are you crazy? Uh, that's his job to find out if people like me are crazy. And I explained to him what I just explained to you. But behind the story of why I stayed was also the fact that I wanted to test technology and push the envelope of crisis communications. I believe these eye reports and the power that we have in the, in the palm of our hand, in the form of a smartphone or an iPad, I think that's the future of news. I think there will come a day in which the network won't just wait for us to file eye reports. They'll be calling uh, spokespeople. They'll be calling public information officers. They'll be calling emergency responders and asking them to do live reports off of their cell phones. So with no electricity for five days and only a cell phone with no internet connection, with only G3, uh, part of the reason I stayed was to test the envelope, of the new technology of what I think the future of journalism, broadcasting, uh, public relations and crisis communications will be. But most important, I was safe and I had done that calculation. So my final thought for you is, before you file an eye report, before you even try to capture the video or the image, number one, make sure you're safe. This is Jared Bro, your eye reporter evangelist.